What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. Today I'm filming outside, listen to the birds, enjoy the fresh air, it feels good out here. And I got a couple of, uh, like not really a couple, but one uh, a gadget, but it's a kit with multiple gadgets. This is called a kettle, uh, Kelly Kettle, Outdoor Life Enjoyed Based Camp Kettle. Or you can also call it a uh, Rocket Stove Kettle which is amazing. This is like the best kettle designed for base set stove or around the property whenever the power is out and um, you know in emergency situation it's perfect. Base cam meaning for RVs. Let me show you how cool it is. There is a smaller ones, bigger ones. So smaller one probably somewhat for hiking, big one for RV you know camp tar, uh, trucks. But check this out how it works. You see the water will be in between here and the actual kettle is hollow. This is so cool. And also this time I got a whole bunch of attachments to it. I had this thing for a long time in my garage and it preserved well. Actually I used it once. Never mind. Okay, let's put to the test all the other attachments to it. So incredible. Uh, so this side here a stick um, you sticks or like fire wood starters and then look at that it's hollow check this out I look like a pirate out right here uh, but yeah it'll go on top of it and it will not suffocate it because the hole here and the water will be stuck in between there and this one I think the biggest one uh, this one is base camp here so that's the biggest one and uh, how, long, how many liters is this? Base cam 1.6 liters or 54 uh, liquid ounces. Beautiful. Okay, big handle. Reminds me of those milk jugs. Aluminum. It's really lightweight. So, what I got this time though, now all these attachments for it as well. Um, so, it's a clear holder. So, we don't have to just boil water with it because it is a kettle boiling teapot now we can put this on top of it and it becomes a rocket stove before that it kind of would be unsteady if you put something right here or twigs it will become very unsteady and also you'll suffocate the fire if you cover it up with this side here still plenty of ventilation and look at this clear ridges everywhere so that will help us a lot by just Woo. Wow! 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 Check this out. Also, if we do, if we want all the fire right here, a smaller rocket stove, a small campfire, and cook over it. There's a little stove too. That is so cool. And look, whenever we put it away, just flip it over, and it doesn't take a lot of space either. Wow! That is awesome. Okay, well, man, I'm getting excited over here. This is too good. Of course, some aluminum for plates. Let's see. That's kind of cool. Really durable. I like it. That's obviously, you can even cook in that too. This is incredible, you see? Lightweight metal, so you can put on top of it. You can cook warm up food or use it like a pan. Um, or you can use this as a pan and keep those clean. Let's see what's in here. This is all like attachments to it. You don't have to buy this and that. You can buy one at the time or you can buy an entire kit. This is why I figured might as well I do a full review of these things because I never did. You see it's burning stuff and they still sell them a lot. So let's see how they work. So there's a little handle right here. So for the pot handle you just grab it and lift it. That's so cool. And you can slide it over, I guess. But yeah, just grab it and lift it. It's tight. It's not going anywhere. Check this out. Same thing with this part. It's tight. It's sitting there. It's not going anywhere. And bring this back. Oh yeah. Sits in there really, really well. It's not going anywhere. It's tight in there. It's hot. Lift it up. Boom. Look at that. Line it up. I love it. This is cool. And just in case you do want to cook on that, it's not going to be as safe and steady. 
but makes sense, right? And you need a teapot, you move this out of the way, you boil in water, now you can remove the entire pot, put this up and finish cooking whatever you're cooking. And use this and use this to lift it up. And you know it's cool, whenever the pot on top of it, there is a ventilation hole and this side here you add on more stick. Or you can just remove that to a bunch of more fill sticks, charcoal, put it back up. You can use multi-fill. And the cool thing is, let's see, really put all the way. Oh yeah, look at that. Before we go put it to the test. Ah, no. You know what, I think it does fit. Incredible. Got a bit too tight fit, but it does fit. Look at that. And the pants, I guess, will go on the bottom. That's it. And then it'll go in here. And then before we light it up, this will be, will be the only thing separate. I'm about to, where is the most important thing in here? Will it fit all back in? That is the question. Because sometimes they give us the full stuff and it doesn't fit anything. Oh man, that's too easy. What do you guys think? Wow, this is definitely good. I would not hike with that. Oh wait, what is that? There's a little grill you can have on top of it too. We'll look at it in a second. That will fit in there. Look at that, all together, incredible. Why the dogs are freaking out? Usually they know somebody coming. Okay, I don't wanna miss this. This kinda opens all the way through. So it will slide right in here. Let's see. And it will lock in right in between those holes. Interesting. How do we do this? Okay. They go like this. Line it up. Wow, that's cool. I don't know, just in case you can use that and have a regular pot. Like a bigger pot like this. You can set it up that way. So that's the idea. Because this one will fit better into here. But if you have a really, really big pot, you can uh, put this in. Let's see, line it up. This is such a well thought rocket stove kettle and then you can put a big pot on top of it. Incredible. And the rocket stoves usually produce a lot of a lot of heat. Okay, and that's cool. Let's try it out. Let's put it to the test. Okay, I prepped myself a whole bunch of twigs for the fill and uh, for the first in the beginning I could just open this up and light it up. I'll use some kind of fire starter help obviously. Smaller pieces, bigger pieces, don't matter. It'll burn up really good. But also important to have some big pieces too, so that way I don't have to refill it as often. And look at that. I could set it up this way, as long as it's not above this, I could really fill it up. Okay, it's burning really well. What I can do is put this up, and look at that. All of the fire is actually sitting right there. Okay, I can lift this out and then if I want to remove that, it will be very hot. Move that out of the way and then I can put Kelly Kettle right on top of it. Boom. And look at that flame pointing out from here. I have to adjust the camera. Look at that flame coming out all the way out here. Okay, full pot of water. And now I can really put bigger pieces in there. And all of the flames, all of the heat and energy will go and heat um, the pot. Obviously, the smaller twigs, the hotter it will get. If I want to cook longer, I probably want to look for bigger pieces like that that I broke up. But smaller pieces so that I don't suffocate it. As long as it has plenty, wow, there's, I can add on a lot more. Okay, it's doing good. I can add on this. Okay, now all I have to do is blow in there. Can you see that? Oh yeah, now it's finally starting out. Pointing this at the wind. And also at the same time, I could be boiling water on top right here. How cool is that? Woo! 
I can take this off. Oh, look at that steam. This is powerful. Now I can put this back on and then I can use this to boil water, cook, whatever. You know what I realized? This side here, it in a sense is a lid. <laughs> this is cool. So I could use this as a lid, but it'll be hard to kind of take it on and off. And I can just take it off and enjoy the bonfire. Let me show you how hot this is. You see it's steam everywhere. Amazing. And I use this right here to pour it into something because it will be very very hot. And just quickly to remind you this is actually a base camp or stove. So if you go and hike in somewhere or like we have a parkway around here and all we do all the time is pull over parkway and you actually allowed to have campfires as long as they contain unless there's a burn barn so if it's too dry or air has no humidity sometimes it's because of that or like it hasn't been raining a long time just check the um, weather alerts if it's okay to start a bonfire or not and boom you can keep it contained you can cook have a nice camp without having a big fire without having a lot of firewood so that is a lot of fun uh, really good option so we go to like now Kragis over there there's a little picnic area on top of mountains in um, forest national forest so it's a lot of fun come out there cook a little bit pack it up together and go somewhere else so I really enjoy that I really like it but I wouldn't go backpacking with that that's for sure unless it's like a little bit of backpacking and base camp boom for a few days out there not too bad but yeah love it let me know in comments below what do you think don't forget to thumbs up subscribe see you next time